all your lovely people. I got craft update number 12 for ya. And so yeah, just one announcement I, or two. I started making a scrap ball and two, I've been on vacation. So all these wallets are like wallets I found that were never in a craft update. Things I made over with my cousins because they wanted to learn how to make duct tape. So I'll tell you which of those things are. Um, and so yeah, this is going to be in parts. So the first part and then the second and blah, blah, blah. Because I'm going to make more over the weekend. But yeah, so here's my scrap ball. I know it's pee. It's about as tall as one row. Yep, so that's my scrap ball. And so yeah, so I'm going to show you my fabric hair bows or ribbon bows. Uh, this one. I made this. This one. And so yeah, that's all. And now for like the things I made over with my cousin. I made this keychain. And I made wallets and stuff, but I gave them to them. So hopefully I'll have pictures. I made four slick wallets because they didn't have IDs. So it just made slick wallets, but I have this flower. And then, oh my god, this one. And I'm doing, trying it away. And then tell me what bow you like. So after I show you all the bows, I'll tell you like one, two, three, or four. But I've been doing D D by Derek bows, and I really like them. I like them a lot more than the regular ones. So these are all the ones things I made over with my cousins. Some of them are good, and some of them I don't like. Like this one, I really like. This one I really don't, but um, yeah. And then, like a regular one, and like other people do, like here's like a regular one, and then they like flip it inside out. Uh, sorry for the horrible lighting. There. So this is number one. Tell me if you like number one. Number two. This one's like a longer one than like the normal ones. Um, but number one. Number two, number three, and this can be either way, or number four. So, yeah, tell me which one you like. Yeah, those are all my extra things. Yeah. So, now for the wallets. I think I have like five wallets, but yeah. And the purse. But here's the first wallet, and this um, was inspired by KF Creations. 13, but it's cosmic tie dye and it's chrome bow folds. I really need to scoot my camera in. I love those people. Um, and then it's a fire and ice wallet. So it just has two card pockets, a V shape. Oh my gosh, I'm it all under control now, but it just has two card pockets, a V shape, and an ID. And I do like the ID of like the same color the outside because it's just trying to. And it's all clear tape, all the chrome, and it's clear taped right there has two hidden pockets and I hate the way this ball turned out. I dislike it. So by the way, bows are two dollars. These are two dollars. And wallets are this one will be five. Wallets are normally five or six. Depends on if I like it or not. This still pickle wallet and it's all clear tape and I made this one like a month ago. But I showed it in a craft update and black bell folds and I ran out of white and green so I had to do black. But it has Stuff Diva Designs basic um, five card pockets, uh, side ID, and two hidden pockets, and it just looks like this. And this one, this one will be six dollars, not including shipping. Shipping's cheap though. Um, penguins. Oh, here. Still with the wallets. Uh, this trifle that I uh, made like a month ago for myself, and I never showed it because I had all my personal stuff in it. But it's clear taped at the bottom, not duct taped. And this is a horrible one. I'm sorry. I truly apologize. Um, two card pockets are hidden. And I do and go through hidden and into more card pockets. You know how it is. And then I have this uh, penguins bifold because I bought penguins duct tape when I was in California with my cousin. Because I'm doing a whole little challenge. Also on it too. So yeah, it's black and white. And then four slip card pockets. Because again, they didn't have ID plastic, so yeah. And the bottom of the pockets are covered. And this wallet that I made right before I went on vacation that is black. Well, I don't know what I made this. I don't even remember. 
but it's blue. No, sticky at the bottom, two card pockets, a ninety card pocket, two headings, and an ID. No, this was... I think I made this, like, two weeks ago and never showed it or something. I don't know. And then the last thing is this little... Just kidding. It's not the last thing. Second to last thing. This little pouch, because I was teaching them how to make the pouch, the bow, the wallet, and, um, these. So, yeah. So, that's all the stuff. Now for the purse. So... It's going to be hard to show you, but I have stuff in it that I'm just going to... Wait, I'm just going to take it out, but it just looks like this. And it's all clear taped on like the seams and stuff. And this is fan set over electric glue. And in the inside, I have things in here. So cheap, no, no, no. In here, so it has, and there's no sticky on the side or the bottom of any of them, so that's the first one. And then I have, that's not a tissue, that's a life proof thingy. And then another pocket. And all the sides and stuff are blue tape. And then um, on the back, it has like a pouch. This is a black pouch. And it says like this that I got. So yeah, and then it has this long strap. It's like that long. If and then I went to Walmart and I got some things. So the first thing I got is a duct tape sheet right here. And then, um, yeah, it's this 10 inches. And I'm going to use it because it's like almost two wallets. So if you don't use it for the other side, that makes sense. Like of the billfold, like this part, not the outside part, but this is just like that part, so if you use, if you have the t tape and just put white here and then put the strip down here, I can make two walls with it. I have this bubble mailer. It's really hard to show you because I'm trying to make a different view, but I just have this bubble wrap mailer. It just looks like this, and it's for so what I'm going to do is so the things are rules, and I got all this at Walmart, and I spent like eighteen fifty, I think. But the first thing is they had bonus life tape, so I picked up two. So I have this first one that's polka dot, and it's duck brand, and it's a 12 inch thing, and a lot of people, when there's the old packaging, or the packaging you could tap it right here to say it's like open so now whenever it does something hit this but it's like there's always going to be a label so I don't know why you're hitting it that one and then I got this one because I was breaking out of both of these and I was going to get some more but no I didn't feel like spinning the dough you know and then I got to this and it's like okay bottom. and then the last one I got was this Lita tape, like the pink one, and this was six dollars. I was like, oh my gosh. And then the last thing I got was so they gave me like two, ten left, which I know can make twenty lots, but um, I don't go to Walmart very often, so I decided to pick up some. If you don't know what top loaders are, they're for like the ID thing. Let's see if I can. It just looks like this, and they're kind of have like a purple tint to them, but you cut them up. You see? They don't have a purple tint like when you put um, the ID plastic on it, but it just looks like that. And you can make two um, wallets with one ID plastic. So I'm going to be having like a giveaway soon. So if you subscribe, you would probably get like. Five to ten, it depends. I might add extra. Three, four, five, this is six. And then you can make 12 wallets with it. But um, it's really nice plastic, um, really sturdy, and yeah. So now that was my haul, and now we'll go into the lots. Let's roll the clip. So um, the next wallet I have is this Zebra Hearts here whatever you want to call it and it's all clear taped on the outside and I was going to have a wallet review on it 
but I decided not to because I mean it turned out really good but it turned out like mm, I don't know like I could have done better on it but I mean like I have my walls aren't perfect um but yeah I'm sorry for my really ratchet nail polish and it looks like really horrible but I had the ends pictures and I had to like scrape it off uh, yeah so anyways um this looks like this and it's really uber thin so don't mind my nail polish <laughs> Um, and then it just, on the inside, it looks like this, and it has pink little fold and a stick at the bottom. There's no stick in the sides, because that's what I do now. And then it has the two cart that it doesn't seem to focus on. But, um, does it focus now? There, it has two cart pockets, a short cart pocket. A pocket up top, an ID, and two hidden pockets, and uh, this might be my new basic one. I have a basic, but I really, really like the short pocket look, and of course, no sticky at bottom curtains or clear tape, no sticky in the ID, because that's what I do now, and then Cassie Crafts had a tutorial on it, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, because I just like started a bit before she had the tutorial on, but there's no sticky, and it looks pretty beautiful, and yep. Yep, 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 and I said on a tape package with old piece. My old piece is gone. But that's okay. I'm getting, I can't tell you because the, the package will come. And then I have this custom order. So it's girl in my school and it's one of my, I should put this. One of my self organizers and it just looks like this. And I've made this one before, the exact same one they wanted, the exact same one I clear to the outside. And, yeah, sorry I'm going to turn myself organized, I just have to get them off the next day I make them, so I don't have enough time to show you guys. But, I will try to do some pictures and some of my other craft updates and stuff, but it has a big expandable pocket right here. And this will have Velcro on it, and all the places you see for things, and it has four pen and pencil holders. And it has a pouch right here, and there's no sticky at the bottom of the sides, because they look very stick. Clear tape and stuff. And then over here we'll have whoa, a Ziploc corn pouch. I just have to make that, and I'm too lazy to do it right now. And then a composition notebook, and then of course all the Velcro, but you know, you know how it is. So yeah, so those are my yep, so we're on to the next clip. This video got so long, so there will not be another clip, because it's already like 12 minutes long, and I don't feel like doing another clip. And I don't feel like making anything else. I'll just put it in the next craft update. So, peace, 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 peace.